catastrophe a minute ago, so I had to clean up and um, we're going to try this again. So, I'm going to be making a bread pudding. And um, uh, there's different ways of making bread pudding, but I'm going to use this um, technique that I know. And that is, it takes a little bit more effort, but at least you'll have a nice bread pudding. And so what I have, I have some sliced, there's a couple of baguettes that are sliced. It's not um, stale bread, but if you do have it, that's even better. So I have a couple of baguettes that are sliced up. I have an extra one just in case I need to, but I'm going to set it aside. I have a shallow, you're going to need a pan like this. Put it in and um, I have some organic, believe it or not, canned milk or you could use whipping cream, but I like the flavor of canned milk. And I have some half and half, which I'm going to mix. You could use a condensed milk, which, which is already sweetened, but I'm not going to. So, and I have like a three eggs. I have about, oh, about a thir two thirds cup of um, raisins, which I'm going to be soaking it with the contour. I could do that right now. Okay, let that soak. Yeah, nice. And that's going to give it a um, nice little flavor. I'll put that on the side. Make sure that's smashed up in there. You don't need a lot. I don't know. Just enough to cover. I'm going to try one. That's good. Oh, wow. Mm, good. Put a little bit more. Oh, that's good. Yum. Makes those raisins taste yummy. And then butter. So I'm going to show you how to room temp it real quick. And this is some cinnamon, some nutmeg. You don't have to use this. You can kind of wing it and use whatever you like. And, um, and what I did was I had some pecans. And that was my catastrophe because I dropped my little saucer of butter. And then I just gently... break them up like that because I only have a little bit of pecan so I wanted to stretch them so I'm going to be putting these like on top. I'll put that on the side and I have my orange which is what I'm going to use. To, I'm going to zest it. I have a little bit of vanilla and I had some orange extract and um, and we're going to get started. Oh and this is some uh, agave maple and we'll get started now. And before we um before we get started, I'm gonna put I'm gonna go ahead and spread this, but really quick I want to show you how to room temp this. So all you have to do is use cut it up into small cubes, okay? And I learned this in my culinary class. And you'd be surprised. Um, that's the first thing you do. If you're gonna use room temp butter, you wanna that's a very first thing is you want to cube up your butter, right? Yeah. Just kind of go. Slice it up. Like that. And then kind of, you know, take that apart and then just let it kind of do its thing. Now, if it's not room temp enough, I think I'm going to need another butter. So I'm going to go in the kit, go in the refrigerator and get another butter. Okay? Because I'm going to need another butter. I already can tell. I already lost a cube, so, ha! Ah, you know, butter's kind of pricey. And when I lose, if you're on a tight budget, hurts when you lose a cube of butter and some people say it's just a cube of butter yeah but that's like a cube of butter put a half a tank of gas or something but see there's a difference of color this is organic and this is not organic as you can see but that's okay I'm gonna go ahead and um, and this is unsalted butter you can get the salted butter if you like, if you prefer. And that way, 
um, it'll give it a little bit of salt, but because my bread has some salt in it, I believe it has salt in it, and um, I don't really need to use it, but sometimes that salt just kind of brings out the sweetness of um, the, the sweeteners that you're using. Okay, so it brings out that extra little flavor, just a little pinch of salt. If you're using um, this kind of, um, I'm going to pull those apart. Oh, that butter smells so good. Ah, it smells like butter. Um, there's just a difference between organic and your regular butter. But um, if you can't afford getting the um, organic butter, by all means, you know, go ahead and get the regular butter. And you don't have to use butter, you can use, you can also use coconut, coconut oil or um, extra virgin coconut oil. And so, because I'm on a times frame here, I'm going to zap it in the mic for a wave for just about, um, oh, about a good 10 seconds. Probably not even a good 10 seconds. Well, probably 10 seconds would be good. So yeah, 10 seconds should do it. And it's nice and soft. Well, I think I could do it maybe now. Yeah, I think maybe a couple more seconds. Alrighty. Take this and then you you do those those are crumbs from the um, bread that I cut up. And then what you do is you get a uh, nice Butter knife, butter knife, butter, butter knife. I guess that's where the word butter knife comes from, right? And then you just, what you want to do is spread each one with a little bit of butter. <laughs> Wait, my mouth is already, <laughs> I already had a couple pieces of bread and butter. Um, I have another video clip that you can look at, and it's the same technique as my capirutada, which is uh, Mexican bread pudding, and it's a it's a long one. I think it's four parts because it's a it's a process of making the capirutada, and there's a history behind capirutada, a huge history. And you know, um, I, I would do most of these, so it, they just need a little bit. See, I'm already using, and I don't want to use too much. And I should have had some already buttered, so I can show you, but I think this would be all right. Get all that, and it, it's not. It doesn't take much to do this. It's really not. Um, So, there's a city that's close by, 
has all these stores, but I'm sure it's not like the Big Apple City. Anyways. So when I listen to these old songs, they remind me <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to watch a lot of um, Fred Astaire movies and So, I mean, this can be done actually a day in advance if you're going to cater this. You can prep these slices of bread a day in advance. And if, if you grill them, um, well, that would give it a different flavor now, wouldn't it? If you put them on a, on a pit, if you don't have an oven, put them on a pit and put it on low heat and make sure that um, they're covered. Okay, so I have that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead. That's parchment. Lay them across like that. It's not going to take long for them to um, to heat up. Okay. Ready. Ready. So I'm going to go ahead, pop that in the oven. And then get my other sheet here. And that will, and the kids will love that. 
So I'm going to go ahead and break um, three eggs. Oops, sorry, wrong, wrong bowl. I was distracted. There's a piece of um, pecan in there. Don't worry. <laughs> I was freaking out. Ow. Okay, and make sure your eggs are washed. Oh, I got a little um, twin egg there. So, two twins. So, actually, that's like five eggs. Five, one medium egg and five, four extra small. So, okay, and now I'm going to put my um, milk. So, I'm kind of winging it. That's a whole can of milk. I think those ounces are like about, oh, let's see, about 12 ounces. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some half and half in there. And then I'm going to put my spice, I'm going to put my sugars, like half a cup. I'm going to do this one like a French toast and then I'm going to put like um, a little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg's pretty strong so be careful when you put it in. Some cinnamon. Like I put like about a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg and just a little bit of orange extract in there. Just like a little capful. We used to do that. And that's usually like about what an eighth. And a little bit of vanilla. Capful. Good old fashioned cooking here. That's about another fourth. Of, and I'm going to use a fork. I'm going to use a whisk. I'm going to use a fork to go ahead and mix that. You can whisk it, but since I have a small bowl here, I don't want it to jump all over the place. Oh, I can smell that orange in there. Yum! This is delicious. It's almost like I could just drink it. I'm going to put a little bit more. Oh, and I'm going to put some of my agave. You can use that by itself, but I want it. So, I'm going to put some agave uh, maple in there. So, I have a couple of different sweeteners. Yeah, why not? So you see, and this is like perfect for like French toast as well. And so like I said earlier, you can sprinkle some you do it that way, that's another technique that you could use. And then put some Sugar's on there. Okay. Put these sugars. I'm going to stick that in the oven. Oh, I can smell that bread. It smells so good. I'm going to switch it around. And you want to rotate them periodically. And how long do I keep them in the oven? Till they're crispy. <laughs> Till they're crispy and yummy and ready to go. So I'm going to set this aside and then, actually I'm going to set it aside. And then I'm going to get my orange because I want that really orange flavor. I'm going to go ahead and zest it. If you have a zester, that's cool. I have this good old fashioned zester machine. Woo! Be careful. Squirt it in my eye. So, be careful. Yeah, this is fun cooking with Mary. And you just want to get the, the, the top. Make sure your orange is thoroughly washed and clean and you know you don't want any of um, any any other any pesticides on it and 
I like organic oranges. I think those are the best oranges to get. But you just... And that's a nice... Way to get your zest. Put that butter in there. 
Yeah, a lot better. I have to do a lot of push-ups and or go get cholesterol shots. <laughs> it's not funny, but they have shots for cholesterol now. You're gonna have to juice for the next three months <laughs> to get it off. So, but um, butter is a lot better than margarine. And if you don't have, um, so you just rub it with your finger. I know that's kind of grody, but you can use um, plastic on your for your gloves or whatever. But um, remember, your your best tools are your hands. 